My hat look alright? Looks good. I don't look stupid, do I? Okay. It's center? Okay. Thank you. Taylor, I think you were sitting back there, obviously, when Matt was talking about it. Where, where do you see him needing to, to grow, and how can you try to help him in that process? You know, um, ultimately just learning the game at this level, right? Every rookie had to go through it. But I'll say that I'm seeing him take – tremendous strides from where he was um, to start OTAs. Um, when it comes to his pass set and the little nuances of it, um, become even more of a mauler in the run game and just continuing to take his game to the next level, you know, and I'm just doing everything I can as a leader to uh, just help him go in that direction. He's already very, a very self-motivated guy, um, so I'm not, never worried about that, but it's just, you know, here's what's help me play at the level I'm playing at, you know, and then just anything I can to help him grow. What's the biggest adjustment to play tackle from college NFL and just getting used to it? Um, you know, I, technique, right? So there's, there's big, fast, strong guys in the ACC where he's from along with the NFL. Obviously, they might be a little faster, a little bigger. You know, the cream of the crop, obviously, in the NFL, but they also take their technique to the next level. Because at this level, it's not just an extracurricular, not a student athlete anymore. Now it's your job. So people are attacking their technique like the professionals they are, right? So if you're not on your P's and Q's, um, you can get beat by, you know, any start, any the end of this league. You know, because, like, when I was in college, I was just big and strong enough to know I can just muscle guys, you know. I mean, no offense. I love my conference, but especially my conference where I'm from. Um, but ultimately, you get to league, it doesn't work like that. you gotta, you got to really trust your technique and know that if you're not on it, if you're not on that technique for 60, 70-plus plays on Sunday, it can look bad any day, any, any certain play. So. Pass protection and uh, and the run, both. You know, I know obviously it's a predominantly passing league, but, you know, whatever play is called, you don't want to let your man make that play. And that's what I think it comes down to as an offensive lineman. What have you seen from Brady Christensen and his development from year one? Brady is a tremendous athlete, someone who loves the game, very, very intellectual guy. Um, and I see his technique continuing to come together, learning how to play with his strengths, realize how strong of a guy he really is. And, um, you know, just like I said with Icky, just someone who's continuing to grow and grow. So, um, you know, he's he's becoming a really, really reliable, really, really reliable player. And just like with Icky, I'm just doing everything I can to help him be the best version of himself. Offensive line was a focus going into this season and two games. How much more improved do you see this offensive line from last year? Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't like to live in the past, right? You know, I'm, I'm the guy that believes in learning from the past. Obviously, you know, especially personally, like what can I do to play better, right? I, I looked at myself in the mirror, like how can I um, take my game to the next level? Because you know, I wasn't particularly happy with how I played, and um, you know, ultimately. That, that's what it's about, and I'm not here to compare this O-line to last O-line. I just look at this O-line and say, as a leader, what can I do to help us become the best offensive line we can possibly be, be an uh, offensive line that the whole offense can rely on, and do everything we need to do to win football games one game at a time. Taylor, is the next level for you Pro Bowl? Um, so, you know, I hear people talking about that a lot, Pro Bowls, all pros. Ultimately, I'm here, and my my main job is to bring a ring to the Carolinas, right? And in my mindset, even in college, and it hasn't changed, is I want to focus on being the best Taylor Moten I can be, right? Once I start focusing on the Pro Bowl or the all pros, especially all pros, like now I'm looking at, okay, how's this tackle doing? How's that tackle doing? Instead of, because it's not about them, right? It's about me. It's about how I'm doing. Whenever I'm done playing this game, whenever that may be, I want to be able to hang up my helmet and say, 
I did everything I possibly could to be the best version of myself, be the best leader for the offensive line and the offense, and that's all I care about. Let the awards fall where they may, but ultimately, win a ring, be the best version of myself. See what happens after that. So what would it mean to this team if you can get Christian McCaffrey on the field for 17 games this season? <laughs> I mean, it's no secret how explosive and how much a playmaker he is. Um, you know, wonderful player, wonderful guy. But again, you know, I'm not, I can't talk too much about what Christian's got going on. And obviously I'm a guy that's like, whoever's out there, you know, we're gonna go out there and play the best of our ability. But you know, he's a tremendous playmaker. I have nothing, yeah, can't really talk too much about like that when one. When you know he's back there though, I mean, is, is there a little bit different like uh, vibe when you're up, when you're uh, up to the line? He's got a different energy. Up? I say he's got a different energy in the huddle for sure. You know, locked in, locked in, very competitive person. But you know, we're out there. You know, I'm just I'm solely focused on getting my job done and making sure we're all on the, on the same page up front. You know, running whatever play is asked of us to run. But knowing that any play can be a, a home run, that's <laughs> any play should be able to make a home run. You know, if they, if we have a good enough deuce block, why not any of those running backs? But yeah, I mean, like I said, Christian's an amazing running back. You know, love him to death and happy to have him on the roster. How has the uh, rookie talent stuff been going? Is that, is that happening? The rookie the talent? Well, they, they sing every night, right? The singing has been subpar, to say the very least. You know, we, we talked to him about that, had some heart-to-hearts. But I will say that the offensive line has been the best unit. You know, we're two for two. I think we're the only ones that haven't been booed so far, and we're just going to keep it rolling. You know, just be a better version of ourselves, like I said. Oh, um, man, I can't even remember the songs now. Nikki said he did voice the man. Yeah, he sure did, didn't he? Yeah, he crushed it. And I can't remember what Kate did yesterday, but uh, I remember it was good, though. Was it country? No. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Do you remember what you sang? What I sang? Um, um, what did I sing? Man, it was it was some years ago now. I because th- I got well. The thing is, I got booed a few times, so I had to switch it up. You know, so I might have to give you the list of the the songs I sang. You know, it could have been a whole album. The many times I got booed, but yeah. yeah. Okay, Taylor, I'm wondering. Let's go last one. You up. did you have a um, relationship or know of Coach Campbell at all before you joined Carolina? Uh, no, not at all. Um, but I say he's a wonderful line coach. Learning a lot about the game from him. Um, I was gonna say, how does his veteran presence stand out from a coaching standpoint? He's been in the league for, for a long time. Yeah, I just, I'll just say he. Uh, I, how does his veteran? Is, ask the question again. Is it, how does his veteran experience show itself uh, as he's coaching you guys? I'm just his, his knowledge of the game, his knowledge of offensive line play, and just you know, learning little tidbits of the game, little nuances that. Um, I've learned to incorporate my game and working on all preseason along with all the other players. So, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.